Well, here's Tucker asking Asa Hutchinson about chemically castrating children. No, 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 I mean, no, no, but no. you said that children should be able to choose their gender and their parents should be able to affirm that and the state has no role in getting involved. So how is that different? You're saying that a child shouldn't be able to choose a bathroom, but he can choose his sex. I don't understand. Let me finish okay. what I Great. said. Let me finish. Oh, I hope you will. If you don't mind. Well, please do. And the finish is that I told Obama they were wrong. I said it publicly that the school districts can ignore that guidance. And so that's where I think this, the government should not be pushing an agenda in our schools. And that's what I oppose. And so I want the government to stay out. I want the parents and communities and our faith to guide us through these difficult decisions. And I, and I will stop with this, but you have repeatedly described delaying a child's natural progression from childhood to adulthood through adolescence. You've described that as, quote, treatment. And so that raises the, I mean, clearly you've answered the question. You believe it's treatment. You believe, I suppose, that people can change their sex. Because if you don't believe that, you wouldn't call it treatment, would you? Well, the God created two genders, and that's what I have stated. Okay, I don't know that I need to do much analysis on this one. There really was no campaign. The guy's not really running. I don't know why they put him on that stage. Yes, God did only create two genders. You cannot magically become a woman if you chop off your penis. It's not how it works. The fact that he's so unclear on this stuff when it comes to children especially and the chemical castration stuff and the drugs and all of it, like, he basically, Tucker, Tucker just ended something that didn't even exist. It wasn't even necessary, but Tucker did it. And then, as if that wasn't the kill shot, and then it was, it was the kill shot. Asa Hutchinson was just laying there as just like, like a puddle of nothingness. Then they got into it about vaccines, and Tucker actually came out with a shocker here. Watch this. One of the powers that government did usurp uh, over the past several years is, is the right to decide what medicine you take in the form of, of COVID mandates. Um, how did you feel about that? And how many COVID shots did you take? And how do you feel about it now, in retrospect? How many COVID shots did you take? Zero. Oh. But, but I think it's fair, and I, and I can see that you recoiled when I asked you that question. Um, and I don't think, honestly, you should be asking people about their medical care, but that became a, a matter of public policy. And I do think that the whole country ought to pause and assess, like, what did we just go through? What, How do we feel about it now? And so it's a very straightforward question. All right. So this is pretty powerful. Asa Hutchinson aside, Tucker just for the first time announced that he never took any COVID shots. Uh, now, what's interesting about that is Tucker was on air, obviously, throughout COVID. Fox had all of their regulations related to COVID. Tucker was obviously doing his show from home or remote studios throughout a lot of it. They were forcing employees to be vaccinated. Um, it's interesting to me, and I would love to know from Tucker, and hopefully I'll get to talk to him about it at some point, why he didn't say that earlier. You know, it's interesting. Everyone has their own, first off, your private personal me uh, medical information is not anyone else's business as a general rule. You guys may remember at the height of COVID when I was on uh, Fox LA TV with civil rights lawyer Gloria Allred, and she asked me if I was vaxxed, and then I asked her when the last time she got laid was. Like, it's nobody's business these things. So I was a little surprised that Tucker asked the question, but so be it. Uh, Hutchinson just walked right into it. <laughs> 